Um, and then you've got the Jound and New Balances, um, which are absolutely banging. I kind of didn't really pay much attention to him before because maybe I didn't see any more detailed product shots. But now that we've seen the actual product shots for real and we've seen them modeled, um, they are really special. And again, they're really special in the way that I think I mentioned it beforehand that I love that nowadays when it comes to sneaker collaborations, because maybe there's so many brands you can collaborate with generally, right? Gen genuinely, sorry. And the customer base or the audience isn't only, isn't kind of demanding you. Because before I felt like if you're a brand coming up, right, you didn't stand a chance of selling a shoe if it wasn't a collaboration with Nike or Adidas. But now it feels like fans or consumers are more receptive to you as a brand deciding to, you know, rock, you know, kind of collaborate with flipping Puma, carry more, um, Sukorni, Essex, right? As long as it fit your kind of brand and what you're trying to do and kind of gives you the ability to kind of showcase um, more creative kind of interpretations of sneaker design, like what Kiko does with Essex and shit, right? And now he's got his own little imprint that he kind of designs under as well with his team. Um, people are going to gobble it up because they, they know that's their best version of your artistic expression on the shoe instead of you just maybe changing a couple of panel colorways on an Air, on an Air Force One or something, right? And because of that, it's led to a lot more interesting collaborations because there's a lot less pressure on that one shoe. So you're not having to just spunk all your ideas on it and it ends up looking like some flipping what the dunk, year of the dog sort of kind of hybrid, right? Which is awful. It's like loads of colors, loads of textures just for the sake of it. And pony hair everywhere. Remember at the time, everyone was doing pony horse hair. Everyone was doing suede like it's just too much right now people are because the collaborations are so plentiful you can take a little bit more of a subtle a little bit more of a um, brand pacific a little bit more of a uh, something that kind of lends your design codes all that kind of good stuff and a good example of it is this new balance and jound 990 version 4 in navy at first when the pictures leaked it looked like it was all black but now that i know that it's a really dark pigment or you know basically of a navy or dark shade of navy it looks even better especially with the models especially with the you know with the outfits that they're wearing just absolutely brilliant so this is the case of new balances um sorry jound it says new balance jound um 990 version 4 in navy in 1982 new balance released a radical sneaker the objective was ambitious making the best running shoe in the world the 990 gained immediate critical acclaim upon its release today the shoe is thoughtfully re-engineered designed minimalist minimal aesthetic and gimmick free comfort continue to strike across generations remaining inconstantably sorry relevant in the here and now of sneaker culture the 99 version the 990 version 4 silhouettes most recent iteration is the realization of the over three and a half decades of development still implementing new balances um owner jim davis's original brief to craft a sneaker that stands out as a very best of its kind formally released in 2016 um, to, uh, 2016 the version 4 keeps the original iconic shape and treatment with the introduction of a redesigned sole unit and minor updates on the upper pattern the collaboration is crafted in tonal nubuck with mesh construction that's what you like to hear nubuck the the best thing the, the the only better thing than suede is nubuck right especially when it kind of wears in and stuff it just looks beautiful um featuring a textured contrast that highlights the silhouettes and nuanced colorways subtle 3m the detail is reflective secondary laces and a custom logo molded toggle enhance a versatile functionality that is core to the sneakers original identity they're going to be available to purchase for 265 dollars though it's a lot of money mate on jown.com on thursday and october for october 14th 12 p.m est i'm assuming that's where they're only going to be able to be ordered so you can have to be quick on those bots to get them but the model pictures are just brilliant absolutely brilliant they really kind of bring them to life i saw these pictures of these guys it looks like somewhere in the depths of paris they look like they're on a set of gomorrah or something right um the fact that they were expertly cast loads of dark-skinned dudes wearing navy and i think he's wearing a black um all um outfit there i think that might be a jound collaboration i'm sorry a jound outfit too if i'm not mistaken is absolutely epic they look so 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 good um, obviously, the pictures of the New Balances stacked in a, some luggage, similar to what you'd find, you know, bricks of cocaine loaded in there as well for their, you know, cross European travels. Again, a couple of lads eating burgers, hanging out, wearing a pair of trainers, you know, just doing the vibe with the little side. Just effortless, ep 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 epic. Who did the photography? Um, the Jebby Kebby and the casting, Bien Vienu, and maybe that's in house John thing, I'm not too sure. Styling assistant, Shine Ka what's that? Shin Shein Kalanas. Kalasans, Kalasans, she knows Kalasans, and all the models are listed too. But yeah, look how beautiful these look, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Like 
that's a great way to do an all black shoe right instead of doing an all black shoe doing all navy upper with some black detailings and stuff and obviously all black outsole and you've got this amazing iteration i wonder if that's like a, you know what to remind me of who's that guy um that guy that did the color the pigment that was the blackest of blacks i forgot what his name is and it's anish kapoor right he did the blackest of blacks but this pigment of this blue is similar and it also reminds me of what was that tribe of people in africa um maybe it's northern africa who are like they have a pigment skin color it's beautiful it's sort of so dark that it kind of looks a little bit purpley bluish sort of color sort of reminds me of that maybe that's why the models look so good as well and again the lacing this is another kind of thing i want to say about shoes when they kind of do product shots why don't people do correct lacing if you're not going to do lacing like this at least make them look like they've been worn those this this set of lacing just makes them look wearable instantly you can imagine what they're gonna look like with your outfit like and it, it doesn't take much effort but john's product shots when it comes to shoes are otherworldly they, they even made me consider buying those rebooks they were fucking terrible the rebooks that they did but they considered i really ha was debating getting them because of the product shots were so well done with this crisp white background how they put together the lacing just really 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 well done it's a shame you can't just go next to the pictures in it right but yeah the pictures are awesome um got a nice little logo here i mean sorry the, the um the label new balance made in uh made in the usa i wonder if this is another um thing that's been under done under the stewardship of the new guys at emily and Dior who's kind of heading up the new balance usa office whether this is just like a long-term relationship they had prior to him joining again you got a nice little jound emblem there you got jound on the insole really subtly done but you know for the heads that know they know like if you there's a thing if you if you're about this life when you see someone wearing a pair of these you'll know from afar you won't need to be told a little perforated heel there maybe that's where the 3m is right this little perforation here on the back i can maybe see the 3m is it 3m on this on the actual logo itself maybe i'm not too sure maybe it's just the heel looks like the heel is just the 3m bit and then the black as well look at that oh it's gorgeous and you got some tonal laces there um, sorry, some laces that you can obviously pull tie like similar to like a Solomon, right? With the John blounding on there, embossed. Absolutely beautiful. Again, due to come out um, October 14th, 265 USD, um, 12 p.m. EST. You're probably going to cry and have tears because you're not going to be able to purchase them. But if you are, congratulations. Definitely maybe one of the better, van, better vans, better new balances I've seen this year. Um, again, definitely a reminder that there's other brands out there you should be buying instead of Nike that aren't just a standard bullshit. And also another example of sometimes when you do a collaboration for a sneaker, it doesn't have to have a million different colorways featured on it. You can just do the subtlest of things and still be able to create a compelling enough product that people are going to be willing to queue up online to purchase but yeah absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful 